The number one priority in your life should be your faith. The number two priority in your life should be your parents. The number three priority in your life should be your education. Number four priority in your life should be football. That comes before girls, cars, party, blah, 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 this. You know, we had a little trouble with that at first because that wasn't the priorities of the kid. Many, many things came before football. And our philosophy was through hard work, you will have success. I always felt that football was an educational experience. All my years of coaching, I never cut a player. I want to give everyone the opportunity to have that educational experience. And if you come out there and practice every day, be there, practice every day, be there, practice every day, give it 100%, you will learn something every day. To me, the athletic program is important to the university. I mean, I pour out my heart and soul for this. And I think that somebody has to do that, and you have to not just do it yourself, you have to expand this, bring, keep making it bigger and bigger to the other people on campus. I know that there's professors over there that, that, that uh, in math or science or kinesiology or that think that their subject is the most important subject on campus. If they don't think that, no one else is going to think that. Now, you may not convince them it's the most important, but you, must, you will convince them that it is important. I took the job in 1988, and uh, then I... Uh, was looking forward to the first game, went out that afternoon and had a heart attack, uh, the first game, so then I, I missed the whole season. When I came back in January, after my heart attack, I had a meeting with the players and I said this, guys, our goal for 1989 is to make the playoff. And they looked at me like I was a little bit insane because they hadn't won a game in four and a half years, but I told them I had some magic dust from the coal mines of West Virginia, and I'd bring that magic dust out and I'd sprinkle it on their heads and that would make them win. So we won and made the playoff, and, uh, and uh, that was the first time they'd made the playoff for a number of years, was uh, 89. I could see that I t had taken that athlete who had been humiliated, embarrassed, some of them were fifth year kids, for four years. And when they left after that year, they said, hey, I'm proud of this football program. I'm proud of what we accomplished this year. Even though we only won three games and lost four. They were very proud of it. And, and, and they gained confidence in their ability to go on in life and be successful.